This is vital. Howdy doody buckaroonies, your brainstem, your lungs, your heart, trees, anime body pillows, sunlight, your kidneys, your liver, your head, shoulders, knees, and toes. These are all things that are vital to your very existence, and today I wanted to show you around a powerhouse of a free synthesizer that I think will become pretty vital to your production setup. Today we're going to explore 10 different things to try in the new Vital Synthesizer from Matt Titel. And if you want to pick up 50 presets for Vital or 10 of them for free to help support the channel so I can make more videos like this one, you can check out the link down in the description below. In case you didn't know, Matt is also the same person behind the free synthesizer Helm, which is highly regarded as one of the best free synths you can get, and it's really great not only for its sound, but also deep modulation possibilities and clean and easy user interface, making it a great choice for newcomers and experienced sound designers alike. Matt's latest release, Vital, takes all of this and turns it up to 11, with some insanely deep features, a hilarious text-to-wavetable editor, MPE support, a slew of different effects, a whole different mess of filters, and a clean, easy user interface that makes it fun and accessible for everybody, while also giving you a lot to grow into. Vital releases on November 24th, so if you want to sign up for more information to get it first, you can sign up down at vital.audio or with the link in the description, or if you're watching this in the future, pause this video and go get this thing right now and follow along with me. There are multiple options to get a hold of this synthesizer, including a free option, so I wanted to take just a quick second to personally thank Matt for releasing something like this for free. This is an incredible synthesizer that I think is going to really help facilitate creators creating, and I think that is absolutely awesome. With that said, I highly encourage you to pick up one of the paid editions of Vital to support Matt and his future endeavors and show some appreciation for what Vital is because this project has been several years in the making and that really shows. One quick footnote, I'm filming this video using an early access copy of Vital. Matt got in touch with me and hooked me up with a copy ahead of time to play around with and show off on the channel. So this does not necessarily represent the final product and things are subject to change between now and the release date. This video is also not sponsored in any way. I just really wanted to show this thing off because I think you will genuinely enjoy it. With that said, let's hop in and check out 10 things to do in Vital. One of my favorite features of Vital is its MPE support, which is really easy to work with thanks to the fast user interface. So using Vital and my handy dandy Sensel Morph right here, I was able to really quickly cook up a lot of cool MPE patches. Enabling MPE in Vital is really easy. We can flick over to Advanced and just click MPE Enabled and away we go. We can modulate things with the pressure and slide over here. We also get our bend controls and this is a lot of fun to explore. Let's take a listen to a couple MPE patches. Doing anything with MPE and Vital is super easy, so if we flip to one of these warp modes here, like let's say FM from Oscillator 2 and just grab the slide, which is the Y axis control, that's all we need to do to start creating MPE patches. So I've already got... an MPE patch, and that's insanely fast to work with. 
One of the other really cool features of Vital is its ability to use a transpose lock, which is something that was kind of made big with pigments from Arturia, and it's a really, really fun feature. I've got a preset here called Midnight at the Arcade, and I'm just going to hold down one note for a second and let you hear what this means. <laughs> Now what's happening here is I'm sending the LFO right here up to Oscillator 1's transpose and then I click this mapping tool so this is the transpose snap and I can lock this to some notes. Now this is actually relative so what I played was an F so what this means is it's going to play an F minor scale but if I play let's say a E instead <laughs> That scale is going to be relative to the note I played, but we can use global snap if we want to lock this to a hard C minor scale here. So if I play a C, that's all going to be nice and in key, but if I went up to something like, let's say an F sharp, it's still going to be locked to the scale of C there. So we can turn that off to go back to relative mode. This is really fun to play around with and a very powerful tool for creating complex morphing melodic ARP patches. Another good example of this is a patch I made here called the One Note Song Song, which is using a lot of different modulation and the transpose snap to create a song with one note. And that was all mixed in Vital 2. That's all entirely internal, which is really, really impressive. Finally, one last example of this is this patch called Hold My Note Bro, which is kind of just doing the same thing, but I'm using all three oscillators with the transpose snap and just moving them about in the octaves and then using a harmony layer here with a fifth. And this creates a really cool sounding patch by just holding out a single note. One of the most hyped features of Vital, I think, is the text to wavetable feature, which is really, really funny to play with, but also really powerful as a sound design tool. To do this, you can right click, go to text to wavetable, input some text, words, or just random garbage, depending on what you're feeling. And then you can select an accent with the different voices here, hit enter, and it will spit something out. In this case, what I did is use text to wavetable to make some vowel sounds like a, ooh, and ah, and then modulated it a bit to create a really cool pad sound with just a couple bits of filter movement and a handful of effects, and I think it sounds really solid all around. This feature is very much worth exploring and I think one of the things that makes upgrading to one of the paid editions a lot more worthwhile because this is super fun to experiment with and can yield a lot of different results and I think this really lends itself well to some of those old school retro pad sounds. This one just gave me really early PlayStation vibes and I think this is a very fun feature to explore. Another thing to try out in Vital is creating your own wavetable, so you can do that. You can even import audio, meaning you can import your favorite wavetables from other synthesizers in wave format and have them right inside of Vital. Uh, over here, for example, I've got a kick drum, and we can drag this in. There's three different modes to import, so we could just import as a wavetable, and we've now made a wavetable in Vital out of a kick drum. Of course, there's also text to wavetable. You can also resynthesize your preset into a wavetable, which is really powerful for internal resampling. And there is a full blown wavetable editor inside of Vital, which is actually really easy to use. And it's non destructive as well, which is a really powerful way to get in here and start adding some modifiers, like let's say the slew limiter or something. And we'll go in and add that and move over to this frame. And we can start messing with it. And it's just a really easy way to create wavetables. So we've now got something that goes from more of a rounded thing to more of a triangle saw. So making wavetables in Vital is super easy and a lot of fun. 
Not only can you import and create your own custom wavetables in Vital, but you can also import samples. So I've imported a sample as a wavetable over here, but within this sample oscillator, I also went in and imported a sample and enabled key tracking with this keyboard icon here and disabled looping to enable one shot mode to create kind of a faux physical modeled key sound, which actually sounds pretty decent, I think. This is a really powerful thing to know about as well because you can also use this in some of the warp modes here to ring modulate from the sample or FM from the sample, which is a lot of fun to experiment with and we'll dive into that in a minute. One of the most powerful things I think outside of MPE in synthesis is going in and working with a synthesizer's mod matrix and Vital makes this super easy by just dragging and dropping things to modulate them with a modulator. But it goes a lot further than that because you can also modulate the modulators. It's absolutely crazy. So modulation in Vital is really powerful. Let's go in here and just use sync on this. Let's do, oh, an LFO on that, I guess, something like that. Let's go into the effects and maybe we can play with the center of the flanger here with a random. Make that nice and slow. We'll unsync it and go into seconds mode. And I guess let's maybe LFO the cutoff of the high frequency band. Why not? And that way we get just a bit more movement to all of this and play that sound. Now, let's modulate the modulators. So we've got this targeting the cutoff here, but let's add a sample and hold random to modulate that modulation by hovering over that modulation. So now if we drop this down, it'll be a bit more apparent and we can go into the matrix to tweak this even further, something like that. So now we get something a bit more complex. One of the other really powerful things within the mod matrix is the ability to enable stereo and bipolar mode. So bipolar, as I'm sure you know, just makes things go both directions. You can also do this directly within the modulations by finding a modulation, right clicking and going to make bipolar or make stereo. Now, what does stereo modulation mean? What this means is that it's going to be independent on the left and right sides, making anything sound just insanely wide. So let's give this a play and then we'll enable stereo mode for all of these. Let's get that going in stereo. And that is a very, very fun thing to play around with and get weird with. You can also use this with the transpose snap to make stereo melodies and a whole lot more. One of the other really unique things about Vital is its unison. So the unison in Vital uses some special stuff I don't really understand to make it a lot more efficient. So I've got this cranked all the way up to 16 voices and we get that nice big thick unison sound here. But if we hop over into the advanced tab, things get a little bit more spicy. In here, we get options to change the unison mode, the detuning range, the stereo width, the table spread, meaning the spread of the wave voices over the wave table, the spectral distortion spread, and the phase distortion spread. So let's uh, play about with this. If we play this right now, we've got standard unison. Let's change this to an octave. Let's try a power chord. Let's try a minor chord. And that's just one note, uh, harmonics and odd harmonics. Very, very powerful stuff here. All right, let's go to power chord, spread out the table, and maybe add just a touch of modulation to that. The spectral distortion spread. So that's controlling the spread of the smear control here. 
and then the distortion spread, which is FMing over here from this sine wave, which is an octave down. So let's do that. And I think you get the idea. This is something to definitely explore that can add a lot of depth and movement to your patches and becomes really powerful when you start to use it across all three oscillators. Another fun thing to try out is creating an ARP with the LFOs. If we go into the LFO here, let's just set this to a Y grid of 12 and 8 steps. Sure, we'll go into the paintbrush here. We'll change this to step and we can start drawing in a basic little sequence of some kind. Let's do that and bring this over to the coarse tuning of the oscillator. We'll right click and enter a value to make this 12 semitones and give it a play. And maybe make that not so terrible. And maybe we'll tie this to the filter cutoff as well. If you want to get crazy, you could also enable this with something just way more insane. Like, I don't know, that, I guess. And paint this in with steps and just kind of go random. And we'll drop that in here. Maybe we'll do this across 24 semitones or two octaves. And we'll do the transpose snap to make this some kind of minor thing and give it a play and see what we get. We could change the timing of these things. Let's make this uh, dotted whole notes. Put that through the filter as well. And you can make some pretty cool sequences that way, especially by just offsetting the number of steps and the amount of transpose and stuff to make some pretty complicated sequenced aleatoric backgroundy things, which is a lot of fun to play with. One of the other things worth exploring is the spectral distortion and the phase distortion modes here. So if we play this, this is actually a kick drum patch I made using the ring mod from the sample. So the sample is turned all the way down. This is not key tracked and it's not looping. So it's a one shot sample, which is ring modding this kind of sine wave ish shape, which creates a bit more of a realistic kick drum sound. If we play this again, that's just kind of a standard sine kick and we'll bring it in and add a bit of grit and realism. This also works great for insane bass sounds. Here I've got a bass preset using phase dispersion, which is taking the harmonics and partials of this waveform and spreading out their phase, and then FM and another bit of FM here, which creates some insane screechy neuro basses. With the filters and effects, it's really easy to create some awesome neuro sounds with this. One last thing to check out in Vital is its ability to use key tracked LFOs, which is really cool, and I wish more synths did this. Now, why is this important? What this means is we take an LFO or a low frequency oscillator and turn it into a regular oscillator. Now, what this means in practical terms is that we get a couple extra sources of FM as modulation. Right now, if we take this LFO and assign it to this filter, we get just a standard wee woo saw sound. If we go into the frequency and change this to key tracked, we'll play this again. So right now it's an octave down. That's an LFO at the audio rate, which means it's up in pitch and we're FMing the filter. Let's bring this up maybe a fifth or down a fifth or up an octave. And I think you get the idea. It's a really fun thing to play with, especially with something like maybe, you know, key tracked noise for crunchy neuro-y things. This is a very powerful sound design tool and definitely something to not miss out on because we can add a bunch of LFOs if we just start using these up 
it'll start adding new ones up to eight LFOs. We'll just keep that going here and ta-da. So you could have eight extra FM sources on anything, including modulating the modulators or modulating the modulators, modulating the modulators and so on. It's a really deep thing to explore and because it's so easy, it makes it really fun to create some insanely complex patches. And I think that brings us to the end of this video. Those are 10 things you can try out with Vital. Vital releases on November 24th. To sign up for more information or pick it up for yourself, you can head over to vital.audio with the link down in the description. If you want to pick up 50 presets for Vital that I made, or 10 of them for free to help support the channel so I can make more videos like this one, you can check out my sample store down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys again soon.